Hello. Well, today I'm going to be unboxing one of Vax's latest carpet washers, the new Dual Power. There's a few different models in this range. I've got the Dual Power Total Home, which has the additional stair cleaning hose, which is one bugbear of mine when I'm testing carpet washers. None of them have been able to reach right up a standard flight of stairs without having to move the machine. But this one claims to be able to clean the stairs with the machine safely at the bottom. Is this true? We'll soon find out. But first of all, we'll unbox this bad boy, assemble it, and then I'll give you my initial impressions. This is designed in the UK, but made in China. Any of you watching in America will know this model under the Hoover brand, available at the moment exclusively at Walmart stores. But this is actually a UK design model, according to the box. So it's not a design that Hoover had that Vaps have used. It is actually designed in the UK. So, without any further ado, we will undo the salad tape. I got this model from very.co.uk and the reason I got it was it was a very, very good price. It had been reduced from the original price and I got the further reduction, so I got this machine for about £110, which for an upright carpet washer with tools attached and rotating brushes, I think that's a good deal. But we'll see how good it is, because if it's no good as a machine, no, no matter how cheap it was, it isn't a good deal. So, let's delve in, shall we? First thing I can see is a bag. Very smelly bag. It smells a bit odd. But this is a, a mesh bag with a little hook on it there. I assume it's to store your tools. But for the time being, inside the bag we've got a instruction book. There's three screws in there as well. And also inside this bag we have got this small upholstery and stair head. This is more or less the same head as you'd find on some other Hoover and Vax carpet washers. This is the same head as on my Vax Oasis Complete. I think it's the same head as you would get on the, the bigger Jewel V spin scrub models as well. So that's in the bag. Rather, it says Vax on it, but I don't know if you can pick it up from there, but there's looks rather peppered with, looks like mould, but I don't think it is. But anyway, that's the first thing. Second thing to come out of the box is the handle. So you've got the handle there and you can see we've got part of the cord hook as well with a quick release twist action. And there we've got the trigger to dispense the shampoo. Next up, and unusually for a carpet washer, we have a stretch hose. This will obviously enable it to clean upstairs. And I did wonder actually, I thought, well, if the hose stretches, how, how does the solution tube stretch? Because obviously it needs a solution tube as well as the hose for the suction, but you also need the solution tube to carry the solution to the spray head. But when I'm extending the hose out, I don't know if you can quite see on camera there, but there is a solution tube inside which is curly, so that allows for the extra reach. So we'll see whether, looks pretty long unstretched, we'll see whether that will actually reach up a standard flight of stairs. All that will follow in a full demo video, not in this video, I'm just doing the unboxing and assembly. Right, you get also an even smaller bottle of solution than I'm used to getting. I mean, it, it's a tiny little bottle there. You get uh, 250 millilitres. So you might get one room done with that if you're lucky, just to see how it goes. But in order for you to carry on cleaning, you'll need more solution. And I suggest getting a big bottle like this 
this holds 1.5 litres, so with, with that and that, probably be able to clean most of your home, I would have thought, unless you've got a very large home or very, very dirty carpets. But anyway, that's just there to um, get you going. Now, I didn't realise this model, this, this seems to be very good value. I did not know that this model also has this. This is a pre-treat um, wand or attachment. This you can get on some Rapid models as well, other Vax models do it. So this you plug into the machine and you'd spray the solution out using this nozzle on any heavily soiled areas. You'd pre-treat, you'd lightly spray over the area, leave it to soak in 20 minutes, half an hour, then go over it with a carpet washer. So that's a surprise. I wasn't expecting to get that. That must be why they call it the total home because it has the pre-treat one. Right, bit of flex there. What I'll have to do, I'll re-angle the camera and move the box down because I'm not going to be able to lift the machine out at this angle. Well, I've just put the box on its end so I can slide the unit out because it's all encased in this cardboard. That is one good thing about Vax packaging. They do tend to use cardboard instead of polystyrene, which is a bit more environmentally friendly. So it should just slide out. There we go. Let's put the box to one side. And first thing I notice Because you get the pre-treatment wand, Vax also supply you with a small 250ml sample of pre-treatment solution. It's not always necessary to use the pre-treatment solution. I find you can just use the regular ultra solution if you need to pre-treat areas. But as an option, you can actually buy the pre-treat. So that's there as well. Here we have the main unit. We've got here your clean water tank. This is a tank that goes on the top. And that incorporates the handle. And then we've got the main unit itself. Let's lift that out. Take the bag away. <clears throat> so here we have it. Instead of the usual orange accents that Vax do on some of their machines, there's green accents here. And often green or colour means it's a point of action. So in this case, that's the latch for the dirty water tank in green. And you've got your on off and handle release buttons also in green at the back. It is very light, obviously I've not fully assembled it, but that's one reason I wanted to try this machine out because it is a lighter, more compact carpet washer. And in pictures, this looks more like a vacuum cleaner than any carpet washer I've seen. So, in theory, you should be able to carry this around your home easier than some of the bigger machines you can buy. This is what makes the difference with this lightweight carpet washer, is the dual brushes. This will do some machines with a dual brush bar, but they tend to be in, on the bigger side, uh, much bigger, bigger and heavier than this model. So this is a lightweight machine with the dual brushes. And they're not too soft, they're quite quite good. They're not too stiff, but not too soft. Certainly, the brushes on the Bissell machines are stiffer, but they are shorter. You've also got here some static brushes, which help to agitate the carpet where you, can't, where you don't have the rotating brush, because obviously in here is where the belt will be to drive the brushes around. Right, so that's the 
the Vax Dual Power Total Home out of the box. Let's get it assembled now. Right, well I've removed everything off the table that um, I don't need to concern myself with at the moment. So we're just left with the main unit, the handle and the clean water tank. What you'll need to assemble this is a Phillips or crosshead screwdriver. And there are three screws, one longer screw and two shorter screws. Now the first thing you need to do is assemble the clean water tank onto the machine. It's pretty obvious which way round it goes. So you just slot it in and push it home. There's no click or anything, just push it until it's situated onto the base. And you'll see two holes here, you can just about pick those up. And that is where you put the two of the shorter screws into the machine. Don't force anything, that's it. And then tighten each screw. Now what I do, don't tighten them all the way yet, just tighten them nearly full way, both of them. Also don't over tighten, you don't want to be putting a strain on the plastic. They're going quite a long way. Right, so I can feel that nearly tightening, then I'll tighten the other screw up. And then the other one. Just do this evenly. I don't know why, it's just a tip my dad taught me years ago. But that's, that's on there securely. Now what I need to do is attach the handle to the top of the unit. So here we have the handle, obviously it's, it's pretty obvious which way it will go on. It won't go in any other way anyway. But you want to make sure this part of the handle faces towards the rear. So I've got the rear of the machine here, so I just need to pop the handle in. Again, just push it down until you can't push them all. And then the screw for this, this is the longer screw, that goes into the hole here in the middle of the cord storage hook. Again, tighten that, but don't, don't force it. If it doesn't go in, just try again. As long as it's going in smoothly, you'll be okay. Not sure if this is actually, because I can't, I can't feel it gripping. I think it's gripping now, that's it. There we go, again, don't over tighten. So that's the carpet washer fully assembled. All we need to do now is wind the cord around the two hooks, and then I'll take you through a brief tour of this new machine. Right, here's everything fully assembled everything out of the box. So this is what you get. The hose for cleaning your stairs and upholstery and your car. You get the small upholstery slash stair nozzle. You get the treatment wand, pre-treatment wand, a storage bag, two sample bottles of pre-treatment solution and Ultra Plus solution. And of course, you get the dual power total home carpet washer as well. I must say when I was carrying the machine upstairs it is very light. I would say it's lighter than even the Bissell healthy home carpet washer that I reviewed a while back on my channel. That's also fairly compact but this machine certainly is easy to carry and if you've seen the TV commercial for it you'll see a woman carrying it upstairs and certainly without any solution in, obviously it's going to be heavier once you've got the solution in, but without solution it's no heavier than many upright vacuum cleaners. So that is the first plus point. It's light, but it's also compact, and it'll take up no more room really than your standard upright vacuum cleaner. So if space is an issue for you, and you've always wanted a carpet washer that's a bit lighter, this may be the one for you. This is without, of course, turning it on and testing it, We'll see if I still believe that once we've done the full review, which we'll be following. Let me just take you through, anyway, the machine. Here's the hose port. So to connect the hose, you just lift that up. 
and obviously this is the side you put the hose in. There's a little seal there, which is always good. And I can do this with one hand trying to fill. There we go. That does feel very secure. And then this part, this is where it takes the shampoo solution from the machine right all the way through the hose. You've got this little port here. So that just pushes on. Like that. Whoops, hang on. It's actually not just a push, it's a push and twist motion. You can see there, there are two cutouts either side, and on the port itself, the two little lugs. So you need to make sure you line those up. Oops, there we go. And then just turn so that's on there now securely. So obviously, now when you use the machine, the solution will be pumped through this tube here, through the tube inside the stretch hose, and carries it all the way to the jet here. There's your trigger and here's the brush and that clips on there like that. So now you've got the suction from the hose through this thin channel here. You've got a static brush to help you with the agitation and you've got the spray here. So when you use the machine, pull the trigger, the spray comes out agitate it and then you can remove the dirty water which will travel through the hose and up into here this is the recovery tank so I'll obviously be doing a full demo but so far I can see how that hose would reach that would certainly I would have thought reach right up the stairs but I will be testing that later for you but so far looks fairly promising. I'll just take that off to help me show you the rest of the machine. There we go. Untwist that. Always, once you've used the tools, make sure that you don't just do that. Make sure that you clip, until you hear the click, the hose port. Because if you leave it slightly open, it's just going to mean that suction is going to be lost. And you'll find that it's not picking up the solution. So if you find it isn't, just make sure that's clicked in place. There's a good seal on it all around here, so it should seal the suction in. You can see there's a little hose there that takes the dirty water up into the recovery tank, which is here. And to empty, you've got a, a quick spout pour cap, it says there. So you just take that off, and again, tricky with one hand, you just pour the contents out, out down the drain or down the toilet, depending on what you've been picking up. If you've been clearing up after pets or somebody who's been ill, I needn't paint a picture. You may be better putting that down the toilet. Now, I don't know yet, but I don't think there's any easy way of dismantling this because obviously when you use this, all this float valve in there, that's a similar float valve to on my floor mate. So when the dirty water is collected as it gets full that float valve rises and it will block off the suction but as you can see in there it's all there's a lot there for muck and hairs and gunk to get caught round so there is I can see screws there look either side so it looks like you can possibly dismantle that actually the screws those screws aren't uh, the screws I just showed you there they're nothing to do with taking the lid off so I'm not sure I would have thought, hopefully, because there are two screws at the top, hopefully you will be able to take this off. I don't think it mentions it in the instruction book, but me personally, I would like to be able to clean that out properly. So I'll have to see about that. So that's where the dirty water tank goes. You can see that's where the water comes up through the tube and enters the tank at the bottom. So that clicks there, and again, like all carpet washers and like Vax's floor mate, dirty water never mixes with clean. This is where you put the clean water. So you've got your fill cap here. Now 
I'm not sure if that acts as any sort of a measure, but it will tell you in the instructions how much you put in. I don't think there's any markings on here. You've got the maximum fill line there, but there's no markings to say how much solution. So I will quickly tell you, because that's quite important, but obviously this will be in your instruction book, which is a, a bit of a departure for Vax. It's a lot more colour. It seems a lot better than the instruction books of old. So really, most things you need to know should be in here, but I believe Vax do have a number. And yes, it's on here. On the back of all Vax machines, I believe now you can currently buy it. It's been out of focus there. There we go. There is a support number you can ring. It's a UK number. So, just try and find out for you how much solution you put in. Does it say on the bottle? Normally says how much. Again, well, it's the same dosage as all machines. Oh, the sun's gone out. Uh, 40 mil to one litre of clean. So... I'll just pause to save me going through this. I'll just pause for a moment and then I'll be able to tell you exactly how much solution you put in per full tank. Well, it doesn't actually say how much to put in. Again, in the instructions it says 40 mil per litre. Well, it takes 2.7 litres of clean. So if you round that up, say 3 litres, I would say. So... I'd say about 100, well 120 ml of solution would be for 3 litres, so maybe about 100 millilitres I would say on average, but about 100 millilitres per full tank. Obviously if you've just got a little spillage, if you don't want to put the full tank, if you're not doing a whole room, just put a litre of water in and then just put 40 millilitres of the solution. Also as a little tip I always find useful to do, once you've actually put the solution in first, then the hot water up to about 40 degrees into the tank. Put the lid on, make sure the lid's on securely, and then just swirl it about, and then you know that all the solution is properly mixed, so you'll have, uh, hopefully you'll achieve good results. So the book, that's certainly a better instruction book than I've seen previous Vax models have. Let's just pop that tank back on. Which way does it go in? That's it. Locate it like that at the bottom first. Push it forward. And then you can see it's obviously clicked into place. So that's easy enough to do. It's brand new and I'm doing this one handed so it might be a little bit stiff. But that, he says, there we go. There we go. So that's it. You've got... Like I showed you in the unboxing, that's the trigger that releases the solution. You've got your cord here with two release hooks. You can just release the top one, that releases the whole cord. And as the cord enters the machine lower down, in order to help you keep it out of the way, we've got this little clip at the top. So you just clip the flex into that, which helps hold it up out of the way for you. Let's have a look at the specification. Now this is an 800 watt vacuum. When I bought it I read 900 watts but I don't suppose 100 watts is going to make much of a difference. So there we go, it's a 800 watt, 220 to 240 volts because this is obviously a UK machine. To release the handle, we've got your handle release button there and you're on off. So it's very, very like a vacuum cleaner. It's the most like a vacuum cleaner carpet washer, if you know what I mean, that I've ever seen. About the same footprint as a vacuum. Oops, there we are. And it feels, in my hand, it feels just like a vacuum cleaner. And if you didn't know it was a carpet washer, you may, may think that looks like a bagless vacuum cleaner, especially because it's got the dual brush bar. But no, this is just for washing carpets, upholstery and stairs. It, it doesn't vacuum as well. So there we have it. And of course you've got your suction nozzle here. I'll tilt the machine back for you. Your dual agitator, static brush. 
wheels here. Might need to give those a little bit of an oiling from time to time. Or a little spray of WD-40. You've got your two large wheels. And you've got here, to remove with a screwdriver, you've got one, two, and then I'm not sure, four, five, six, of oh, this three there. So when you need to change the belt, it, sh it more or less tells you which screws to undo. The belt change instructions are actually, of course, in the booklet. It's got a two year guarantee, so not a six year like some Vax machines, but two years isn't too bad. But two years is now becoming pretty standard. It's um, most don't uh, most don't give you less than two years now, most manufacturers. It's quite a nice thin nozzle there, so that should direct or concentrate the suction. In the past, some of these lighter carpet washers don't have the oomph to remove the solution. So we'll have to see whether this machine does when I do my full review. So there we have the brushes that... Now I'm thinking, oh, they, they seem to be turning very easily. Now I don't know this until I try it, but I have a feeling that they're turning very easily because the machine, although it's lying down, it is in the upright position which means when you're using the cleaning tools, they're not rotating. And if that is the case, that's a very good little feature. I can tell you that for sure by lowering the handle. If I lower the handle to the operating position, and then, yes, now I can hardly move the brushes, which means that once the machine is in the operating position, the brushes engage, and of course when it's in the upright position, the brushes automatically stop, because they're on a, they must be on a, some sort of a pulley system. So that's very good, because you don't want it constantly brushing the carpet in one position when you're using the hose, because you know you could damage the carpet if you keep it in one position with the brushes rotating. But with this way, the brushes are stationary when you're using the cleaning tools. So all in all, I'm quite pleased with it. It seems fairly sturdy. I haven't used it yet. You will have to tune in later for a full review. But first impressions, it's easy to assemble, it's lightweight, it's compact. And this particular model, the Total Home model, comes with really everything you need to give all your home a good clean, including this very useful stretch hose. If you don't have stairs, Vax do a lower model I believe that doesn't have the option of attaching a hose. They do a reach model which I think is basically the same as this with the hose but I don't think the reach model comes with this. But this I think was cheaper than the reach model and I believe only £10 more expensive than the base model when I bought it so it was worth worth paying the extra for all the extra benefits. Right, there we go. That's the Vax Dual Power Total Home Unboxing, Assembly and First Impression. Stay tuned for a full review, demonstration, as soon as I have time to upload one. Thanks for watching.